Hey guys, John Loxley here. So I wanted to talk uh, about a couple things today. First, we have the Markiplier memes in the background because of uh, Markiplier recently released a video in the last day or two about how people participating in his live stream were getting not just banned from YouTube, but their entire Google accounts banned. Um, and this is an issue. It, it kind of goes along with what I talked about in the um, YouTube is strangling itself video which, even though it's about an hour long, I think is probably worth the watch. Uh, but essentially, my prediction is that YouTube is eventually going to try and get rid of as many people as it can, just over time, because it wants to be TV. It wants to be TV, and it doesn't want to be YouTube anymore. So, there's that. But the, the main issue with this, because they're putting a lot of you know, automation into place. And the problem is that when that automation bans people, first it's banning their entire Google account, not just YouTube. It's not like Twitch where they get a suspension or something. It's just straight up ban, ban across the board, everything you have connected to YouTube. That's an issue first on its own. Secondly, apparently the appeals process is governed by a person. A person is supposed to manually review all of that stuff. So when you submit your appeal, a person looks at that and checks it. And the problem is they've been going through and just being like, yep, yep, this is good. This is totally fine. Totally acceptable. That's an issue. That's also an issue. But just for understanding purposes, I want you guys to kind of understand what's going on. It's YouTube is a corporation. They're a faceless, soulless corporation. The, the problem is all the different tiers of command are separated from each other. Nobody's paying attention to what anyone else is doing. Uh, the top people, the CEOs, all that, uh, they're just concerned about, you know, metrics, market share, whatever. The people below them, the middle management, they're just concerned about rising in the corporation itself, whether the metrics um, for their workers or, you know, am I going to get a bonus this year, right? So that's why they'll they'll do stupid stuff like, um, you know, I don't want you guys to be on the phone with a customer, customer, this is an example, right? Uh, with a customer for longer than three minutes. You know, they're doing that to make themselves look better so they can either get a raise or a bonus or a promotion or something. Meanwhile, the people at the bottom, the ones that are actually customer facing, if you want to use it that way, they're probably treated like crap. You know, I imagine Google is not a super great company to work for. Uh, it sounds like it has all sorts of issues going on. And especially the more, the nicer a corporation claims to be, generally the dirtier they are, dirtier they are behind the scenes, right? So. The people that are answering those appeals and, and tasked with, with following uh, and following the rules and deciding whether people are, uh, you know, guilty of breaking the, the community guidelines or whatever, they probably don't care. They probably hate their jobs. They're just like, you know, whatever. They might even have something stupid like, um, you know, the, one of the middle managers, it was like... Um, you know, my I'm going to kiss my boss's ass by uh, telling him this new automated system they put in place is great. And so we need, you know, only 5% of appeals turned over. So we need a 95% appeal rate uh, denied, right? That way the automation looks like it's doing the right thing and I'll suck up to my boss and then maybe he'll think of me or maybe he'll give me a raise or a promotion or something like that. So the people at the bottom are just like, you know, whatever, man. It's like when you call the phone company or you call your bank, hey, why is this charge on my account? I didn't do this. And they're like, well, it, it's on there. You have to pay it. They don't care. They don't care. Even if they do care, they probably can't do a whole lot. So that's kind of... I imagine this is not insider information. I have no knowledge. This is me speculating. That's just what I see happening based on my own experiences with systems like these. Now, 
it's probably gonna get worse, let's be fair. And what I talked about with the CEOs, like their market share and stuff like that, you have competition. YouTube does have competition. BitChute is possibly starting to get its act together, but that's like the dark horse, right? You also have Facebook and um, Snapchat, which is kind of, you know, whatever, but they're competing with YouTube for the only thing that YouTube offers, which is user created content. You can go anywhere else for, for corporate promoted stuff. You can go back to regular TV if that's what you want for news. But the only place you can go right now, as far as I'm aware, is YouTube and, you know, BitChute and some other places. Uh, but for the higher quality stuff, definitely YouTube at the moment. Now, that's why this Markiplier stuff is up there, just to give you guys a little bit of um, my insight as to what's going on with that. Now, am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Like I said, it's all speculation, but that's probably the most likely scenario. And it's gonna, it's only gonna get worse, I imagine. They're gonna increase the amount of automation uh, as more and more people continue to join YouTube and uh, try and make their fortunes that way. That's what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, the Undertale thing below me, that's just... I just left that up because I'm doing a Undertale blind playthrough right now, so it's, you know, it's whatever. Uh, the other issue that I wanted to bring up is the December 10th, December 10th, 2019, Terms of Service update, which you guys may or may not have heard of. Basically, YouTube is changing its service, or Terms of Service, so that um, if your channel is deemed economically not viable, they can terminate you. Now, when I first heard that, my first thought was, my channel is gonna get terminated because it's, it's you know, tiny. It's a tiny channel. I'm not making any money. I'm making zero. Like, I'm not even eligible for monetization, I don't think, at this point. Um, which, I mean, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but... The more I thought about it, the more I realized it's not for me yet. It's going to be, right? Because I, you know, I talked about this in the YouTube strangling itself video as well. They're going to try and get as many people off their system as possible in the future. In the future. It's not coming yet. I, well, to be fair, what I think they're going to do now or what the point of doing this is to get rid of wrong think, let's say it that way, people whose viewpoints they disagree with, whether that's, um, you know, people like Alex Jones, you have, uh, you know, white supremacists or what they consider hate groups. I, I honestly don't know what they're going to do, but they're putting the plans into place. And, uh, you know, there's something else that's happening in 2020 as well that maybe they're going to utilize those rules for. Now, let's also be fair, they can do whatever they want. And they haven't needed an excuse to do it this far. My interpretation of, of these rules and the updated terms of service is so that they can basically say, oh, it's not us. It's the advertisers. The advertisers are saying they don't want this stuff. And that might actually be true. That's the other thing, right? Is that, uh, you know, banks are getting rid of people. You know, cancel culture has spread to the economy. It's not just, it's not just Twitter anymore. It's, it's spread, you know. Let's say, uh, let's say this stuff, the Markiplier stuff, right? What if your Google account was, what if you had a, a Pixel phone? You know, what if you had the Google, Google Fi, Google Fee, whatever that is, the Google phone service or Google Fiber, right? Are those canceled as well? I don't know. It's a scary proposition. We're going into some dangerous territory here soon. Uh, well, that's, uh, I don't know. I don't want to end on a down note, right? So... 
how long we've almost been going 10 minutes let me just end this real fast so so when my channel gets terminated because it's only a matter of time i feel for for everybody right now the question is will youtube go down first or will they get rid of people you know what i mean like will the market share eat youtube's lunch or will youtube just start getting rid of the people first to bring that about because you know everything fails eventually right so uh the question is when my channel gets terminated uh you know if bitshoot i'd probably go to bitshoot to be honest the um i would want it to be a little better first it's um it's got issues at the moment but it's starting to seem like it's getting minor improvements here and there so i'm hoping they'll you know upgrade the search function upgrade the you know the scheduling uploads and stuff like that it's it's still kind of raw um but it has promise so you know in the event that my channel gets terminated I'll probably just move over to bitchu we'll see we'll see i don't know this channel really cuts into my gaming time so i might just you know quit entirely but but who knows and actually that's something that markiplier mentioned youtube killed his channel back in 2012. he almost gave up and then he started another channel now you may not be able to do that today right because of you know they're tracking everything you need a you have to provide your phone number and your address and all this stuff and then if they catch you making another channel they just terminate you as well so you know it's not ironic that's not the right term but it uh you know it's an interesting interesting thing so anyway if you're wondering what the the music that's been looping in the background is it's the uh sim city for super nintendo village theme it's kind of calming soothing um kind of reminds you of earthbound a little bit i guess but anyway that's it for today i hope you guys are having a good whatever day this is <laughs> um you know we'll just we'll just see what happens in the future i mean it just it just happens like that right things get built up someone else takes them over and then they change and possibly fail possibly rise we'll we'll just have to see you know there's nothing there's nothing we can do at this point um except kind of just sit back and watch and hope things go okay all right guys uh that's all for today i hope to see you guys next time until then take care